first things first, how are you? I'm great. I'm good. I'm freezing my ass off <laughs> here in uh, Amsterdam, but it's all good. Are we in Amsterdam still? We are, right? No. Oh, we're Hilversum. in Holland. Hilversum. We're who? Hilversum. <laughs> we're Hilversum. Yeah, I need to say Holland. Okay. okay. We're so in Holland. Before we go into the music uh, yeah. you've released recently and you're about to release, uh, I'd like to go back to the beginning quickly. Do you yeah. remember the first album you ever bought? Ah, uh, yeah, Led Zeppelin IV, man. Okay. <laughs> and, and at that time, do you remember why you bought it? Oh, uh, just because, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, uh, I just like, you know, they were legends and uh, I liked classic rock, so, okay. you know, my, I had an older brother, so I uh, listened to a lot of that stuff and I just, uh, I don't know, I just love that, that record. So. In hindsight, what, what was it uh, well, about their sound or...? It's like his voice, you know? Okay. I mean, and you know, those fucking guitar riffs. I mean, mm. it was just like, it just felt very, uh, it felt very uh, exciting in a mm. way. You know what I mean? Like there's sure. like, you know, I, um, the first big song I ever heard was uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Right. Like as far as a rock song, because I grew up like, um, like hearing like opera and, okay. and uh, musical theater stuff and Elvis and stuff like that. So I, I didn't really know like that. I didn't grow up listening to classic rock music until like a bit later. Okay. And I, you know, and then I started like getting into it and I, I remember it really affected me, you know, a lot. I think I, In what way, in what way? Just that I wanted to, um, I just wanted to, uh, I d it just made me want to sing. I don't know, like, you know, like a great singer to me, when I hear a great singer, it, it, make, it has always made me want to sing. Okay. You know, like it's like, like sometimes, I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, it's really weird. I just had a memory that like when I was in LA and I was like just being a writer, I remember um, Fits and the Tantrums hadn't, hadn't, blown up yet and they were just like this like smaller band from LA mm -hmm. and I remember going to see them at this tiny place and I didn't know who they were but uh, Noelle from that band um, you know she's a great singer she really and I remember like for the first time in a while like when she was singing I, it just made me want to sing again okay. and I was like uh, and I, I just hadn't really I wasn't thinking about you know singing that much like I would just sing right. sing the songs I wrote for like other people but yeah it's just like Robert Plant is definitely one of those singers that made me want to just fucking wail out. You, know? you mentioned opera, and I read somewhere that your mother yeah. was a singer as well. Yeah, she was. She, um, you know, she didn't uh, go professional, but she had sang at Carnegie Hall okay. several times, okay. and um, and she uh, she studied opera. Um, so yeah, she uh, she never talked about wanting, you know, missing that or wanting. But okay. I think she actually did would have liked to have seen what would have happened, but she mm -hmm. uh, she just wasn't that kind of person to like speak like that. She'd so were you encouraged to, to pursue music in that sense then? Mm -mm. No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> I was encouraged to be a doctor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, you know, my, uh, my family didn't do that kind of thing, you know, okay. uh, like they didn't, they didn't, that didn't compute, you know? Sure. So I just like, I felt like, uh, I didn't know where to begin, you mm -hmm. know? And then my mom passed away when I was a teenager and I, I was like, you know what? I, I want to do something that I love with my life, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I can't wait to get out of school. Like, <laughs> I've ne I'm, you know, I never liked school. It's like, what am I going to do, stay in school sure. for an extra 10 years? <laughs> because, hey, let's be, you know, I mean, it seems preposterous. At the, yeah, so, but you know, I also, you know, I was raised in the whole like, you know, you have to make money and be, okay. You know, uh, secure and all that <laughs> safe. I'm not safe. Okay. I'm not, you know, I'm just not a, I'm not safe. <laughs> but it, 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 in, in that sense, obviously going into music, it, it sounds like a risk. So, so did, did you have confidence in what you were doing? Did you know you could sing? I knew I could sing. I think I, you know, I think like anybody does, I think, I think in the early days, I thought I was going to open my mouth and it was going to be like, you know, like, sign right here, okay. <laughs> you know, okay. like, and then, you know, I, I call it the Jim Morrison phase, you know what I mean? Like, I think a lot of like young artists go through that where they just think they're going to like, be like, yeah, I just uh, sit here and wait until mm. someone offers me a record deal. <laughs> you know, like, you get ready. And then when like that doesn't happen, you're like, you suddenly go through like the, you know, the feel sorry for yourself mode, I think, you know, 
And, uh, when did this start, the, the feeling sorry for yourself period? Oh gosh. What, was mean, that during the albums or, or the, the first two albums? No, it, it, was, it was right before, okay. I think when I got my first record deal, um, uh, I was like, all right, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Uh, you know, it's like, um, I'm not crazy. <laughs> and then like, cause you know, I think sometimes you think when before and, and you shouldn't need validation. Like these sure. days, people don't like, kids don't need validation. They're just like, they throw it on fucking YouTube and then they're like, you know, if like, a bunch of people hit it, they're like, yeah, mm -hmm. I rule. <laughs> you know, they can get instant sure. feedback, but well, like, I, I didn't have that then. And it was just like, um, so you're just like, you know, it's just like a fart in the wind, basically. You're just like, kind of like, it's gone. <laughs> like, it's just in the ether, you know? Sure. But after, after those two albums, uh, and, and especially around 2004, 2005, was it disappointing that it wasn't t taking off? or? Um, around what year was that? Uh, the 2005, uh, after, after you released your second album? Oh, yeah. You know, like, yeah. Um, again, I, I, there was no... Uh, it was an indie thing, you know. Mm. I think um, I, I was... Uh, I'm sh I know I was frustrated for sure, but I mm -hmm. just, like, it, there was nothing, like, I didn't really know uh, where to go. I just kept, I just kept going, you know. Okay. Like, and, and I think, you know, for what it's worth, um, you know, the fans that I had accumulated, like, mm. you know, the, the meager fans but they were real um really kept me going you know mm -hmm. and that's why I, like fans are the most important part of everything for me like the the people who listen to your music they, they're everything they mean everything they should be treated with uh, the utmost respect and care i think because that's those are the people like the people that came up to me like over the years and just were like to <laughs> they're the ones that like really made me stick with it you know and that i owe my whole shit to them so you know, and I, I got enough of that, I think, you know, uh, a small, uh, you know, diet of it, but mm. it was enough to like really change, change, uh, you know, change the chemistry to make me like keep going and all that shit, you know. So I, I feel, uh, I feel like, you know, and I kept pushing myself to write songs. Songs have always been very important to me as well. Like I think like songs are everything, whether I'm a writer or whether I'm going to sing them, you know, like. And, and you touched upon something interesting because uh, this this whole songwriting obviously you started early on, and then you mentioned this connection with the fans. So, so yeah, what is it like to to make something up in your mind and have people, other people you don't know, connect with it? Well, what 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 does that tell you about the song you write? Uh, it's a deep, deep feeling. You know, it's it's uh, one of the best, mm -hmm. and, and because you know you have to understand that. Uh, and I know you do, that you write hundreds of songs that no one will ever hear. Mm -hmm. Hundreds, and it's not just like, you know, and you put a lot into them. You put sometimes as much or more into them as yeah, than sure. the ones that actually sure. do something, you know, like, and, uh, and so when you, and, and when you deal in volume of songs, when you just keep, uh, you know, churning them out, if you will, it starts to, you know, you just, uh, for me, I just like, I don't, I don't linger too long on, the song, you know, mm. like I, it, because in my opinion, like, you know, if I write a hit song, I have to write another hit song. Okay. If I don't write a hit song, I have to write another song. Okay. <laughs> like, I just, okay. like, there's no, like, there's no, like, hey, I wrote a great song, I think I'll just live on that for the rest of my life. <laughs> so this is a self-imposed pressure that comes out. Yeah, and, and, you know, and then at the same time, you know, it's also helped me, like, you know, ease up on the, it's, I still feel pressure, don't get okay. it wrong. Okay, okay. I still feel pressure. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I, I just try to like, I think my way of lessening the pressure is just to like, to keep writing, you know, because mm -hmm. I feel like it's just a, it's, it's a thing that like, that helps assuage the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the feelings of anxiety. Mm -hmm. And, and where, where do the songs then come from? If, if we take uh, the Death Valley EP, where, yeah. where do these songs come from? Are, are they taken from your own life? And, and yes, very much yeah. so. I mean, you know, there are songs that are... Uh, <sighs> there are sometimes songs that are like a, um, a mashup of like some different feelings that have happened or, yeah. or, you know, or like someone else's thing infused with my thing. Um, but uh, a lot of times it, it gets more and more personal okay. for me, you know, and... Um, I, I, this this particular uh, group of songs, even some of the songs you know that are on the next record, like were from like this difficult time because I, I had a um, my professional and my personal life were uh, in turmoil at the time. So 
I, you know, it was, and they were, and almost both in the same way, where it was just like, something's wrong here, you know? Like, I don't feel good about this kind of thing, you know? What was happening? Or, or? Well, my, uh, my girlfriend at the time, um, I didn't know, but she was like, interested in somebody else, but I, I didn't even know it at the time. All I knew, and that wasn't even like a, the huge issue, it's more like kind of like, I just wasn't getting what I needed, sure. you know? And, and you know, I've been on that side, the other side of things, like, I, you know, I'm not some saint, so sure, sure. like, um, so I, uh, I understand that, but I was like, you know, I, I was, I thought this, I thought it was a big one, you know, I thought it was the one possibly, so. Okay. Um, you know, and it was a very comp we had a very complicated relationship. Um, she was definitely amused and all that stuff uh, in a good way and a bad way. Uh, but I, I uh, and then my record label, uh, we were going. Uh, everybody was getting replaced at the label. Okay. You know that that typical story. But I had spent, yeah. you know, I, I spent two extra years making a record that I was ready to put out two years before okay. and you know and it was just like it, it was just like uh, it was messy and I was mm -hmm. I think I was disappointed in myself for like having as much experience as I did and 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 letting that happen but like at the same time I gotta like just it's a very difficult mm -hmm. uh, business sure, you know sure. so you just gotta like keep going and there's no you know there's no use in like you know like regret and bitterness and all that stuff because mm -hmm. it, it really just fucks you up in the end, you know, like, I'd rather just move on. In, in that sense, then, does helping songs, uh, or, or writing songs about it, does that help? Is it, is it like, cathartic yeah, thing? Yeah, of, of course, it is. And, and, you know, and I think that, like, uh, art comes out of life, you know? It's like, that's, you can't, you can't live in a bubble and, and, and you know, uh, I mean, you can. Some people are just, you know, it comes, but, like, I feel like, um, I feel like it. It's good for me to have like good experiences and bad experiences. Sure. You know?